locate the WinBash download site. Scroll down to locate the download link and click it. Click the download shell win32ix86.zip link. There will be a delay before downloading starts. The file downloads. This is how it looks using Chrome. Open the folder where the file downloaded. There it is. Open the zip file to extract its contents. These are the files that need to be copied. Next, we'll create the folder where these files will be copied. I decided on CWinBash. Navigate into the folder. Go back to the open zip file. Select all the files. I used Control A. Right click the selection and confirm the security dialog. Select copy. Go back to the recently created CWinBash folder and paste the copied compressed files. The exact process depends on the zip file manager used. Now make a note of the full folder path. Convert the path to text and save it in a notepad window. Put that to the side for now. Bash XE is the main program that we will need to run. Create the batch file that will launch Bash XE. I already have the batch text in the clipboard. Change the placeholder to the folder name where the bash files reside. Go back to the other notepad window and copy the folder name. and paste it here. Save the batch file to the folder where the bash files reside. In this case, see WinBash. Select all files and give the batch file its name. I chose setpath.bat. Important, the extension must be .bat. Click Save to finish up. Now create the work folder where we'll keep our script files. I chose CBash, but it can be anything. Go into the folder. Convert the path to text. Create a desktop shortcut to the command prompt. Right-click the command prompt icon. Select Send to and then Desktop. Open the shortcuts property dialog by right-clicking the icon and selecting properties from the context menu. We need to modify the target and start in attributes. The start in value is in the clipboard. Just paste it. This is the work directory. Now modify the target. We need the folder name where the bash files reside. Copy the name from the notepad window. Add slash 
k and the full file spec of the batch file to the target command line. Necessary changes are done. Click the OK button to finish up. Double click the desktop icon to launch Bash. Looks good. Now get the Notepad++ code editor. Get to the download site. Click the download link. Scroll down a bit. Click the big green button. Run the install program. This video does not show the install process. Open Notepad++ to configure the language and work folder. Select language from the main menu, then the letter S, and then the shell option. Select settings, then preferences. Select default directory from the vertical menu. Select the third radio button. Enter the name of the work directory. In our case, it is cbash. Click the close button to finish up. Type in the sample hello world script. Save the script. Note that our work directory is automatically selected. I named the script file sh01.sh. Launch the bash shell by double-clicking the icon. Run the script by entering dot forward slash sh01 dot sh. The dot forward slash prefix is important. Get a directory listing of the current directory. Our file should be there. And exit. Rename the desktop icon to Bash. Right-click the icon and select the Rename option from the context menu. Enter the icon's new name. Let's look at the Windows 10 procedure. To create a desktop shortcut in Windows 10, right-click the desktop, select New from the context menu, and then Shortcut. Enter the full path of the program to launch in the dialog field. Click the Next button. Enter the name of the icon here, which is Bash. Click the Finish button. Open the Properties dialog of the shortcut by right-clicking the icon. Select the Properties option from the Context menu. Modify the target and starting fields as previously shown. The setpath.bat batch file remains the same. In this Windows 10 PC, I use the folder D bash work as the work folder. Click OK to finish up. Open the bash environment and test.